Hello guys, Colonel Mini here. I'll bet that after taking my flying lessons and doing some single player missions and perhaps a career mission that you feel like this. Your ego is up, your confidence is up, you're ready to tackle the world. So despite the testosterone, your lack of experience tends to make you feel more like this when you think about getting into the multiplayer world. So the purpose of this video is to show you how to go from this to this. And the only way to do that is to jump right in. But start off on a simple, beginner-friendly server first. There are several great World War I servers out there, but what I'm going to recommend is the one that will be best for you for your first time. You can communicate with other players in your own language in the in-game chat. Read the description to see what's going on and what the objectives are. Click on an airfield to find your aircraft. In this case, we're looking at the air start. And our orders are to proceed to 0606 and uh, look for enemy aircraft. There are only two human players here, me and someone else, and the rest are AI aircraft. We'll choose our loadout and press start. So we're already airborne, we're flying east to west towards the patrol area. Press O to open your map and then zoom in to see the terrain features and targets more easily. Our aircraft is displayed in 0607 keypad 7 as a black aircraft. So that way it's pretty easy to see where you are on the map and which way you're pointing. Now the real challenge is to actually find and identify friendly and enemy aircraft. The other great thing about this server is that you can press F2 and get a different view. And zooming in and out around your aircraft can help determine where you are and where the enemy are. But the server makes it easy by representing the enemy aircraft as red icons and the friendlies as blue icons. But don't rely on the icons to navigate. Learn to navigate. And don't rely on this information either. Always keep your head and eyes outside the cockpit because that is where the enemy is and these are the people that are gonna come and try and kill you. Ah, there are a host of enemy approaching with their red icons. They are certainly not visible to us yet, so let's turn the icons on. And there's a friendly down there under our wing. And down there, gentlemen, at two o'clock, are the enemy. If you just want to try and shoot things down, then keep the icons on. Otherwise, turn them off, because sooner or later, you're going to need to have them off on the more expert servers. And as in real life, you'll have to learn to identify the aircraft from their shapes and outlines. Because people get quite annoyed with you if you shoot them down and they happen to be on your team. The number under the icon is actually the distance between you and the target, in hundreds of meters. You'll remember from uh, earlier lessons that we set the convergence of the guns to about 400 meters. So to be the most lethal, you'd be looking at a distance of 0.4 or less. Another cool thing about using the icons is if you are flying up against a human player, then their name will show up on the screen. As a single player playing by yourself, your life expectancy is very low. The next step is to establish voice communications via Discord with other players so that you can work together as a team to defeat the other team. If you've enjoyed this video and get some value out of it, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe and like and all those usual things. But if you want to see more of these videos, specifically with the IL-2 uh, Battle of Stalingrad, we've got about 150 training videos for you to look at. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.